Once again, Kanye West is facing backlash over his involvement with Marilyn Manson, Kanye, who is now legally named Yee, announced the return of his Sunday service in an Instagram post over the weekend, Kanye first began hosting weekly church services back in January 2019, during the run-up to the release of his ninth studio album, Jesus is King. And while we don't know an awful lot about what actually goes on at the Sunday service, it seems to combine Kanye's love for music, fashion, and his religion in what appears to be a highly exclusive Christian church service. During the services, Kanye and a gospel choir perform reworkings of his greatest hits to an invite-only congregation, largely made up of major celebrities who attend the weekly installments at various locations across the country. Celebrities known to have copped a coveted invite to Sunday services in the past include Brad Pitt, Orlando Bloom, Katy Perry, Shia LaBeouf, and of course, the entire Kardashian slash Jenner clan, adding to the mystique, guests are reportedly asked to sign non-disclosure agreements before attending and are also required to adhere to a strict dress code. Kanye hasn't held a Sunday service since April of last year, meaning that fans of the rapper were happy to see that he was bringing the event back for Halloween. And despite their initial excitement, many of those who tuned into the Sunday service livestream on October 31st were left shocked and somewhat confused by the presence of Marilyn Manson. Manson's involvement in the service came as a surprise to many fans of the event, particularly in light of the fact that he has publicly been involved in the Church of Satan. Wearing matching all-white ensembles, Kanye and Manson were also joined by Justin Bieber, whom, unlike Manson, is a devout Christian. At one particularly surprising moment during the ceremony, the trio appeared to bow their heads in a circle of prayer led by Manson, which prompted a lot of confusion among viewers. I did not have Marilyn Manson lighting a prayer circle with Justin Bieber and Kanye West on my 2021 bingo card someone wrote on Twitter in response to the live stream. However, most of the public outrage stemmed from the fact that this marks the second time that Kanye has appeared to publicly endorse Manson, who has been accused of sexual assault by several women in the past year. Manson is facing a number of lawsuits from multiple women alleging sexual assault and physical abuse, including his former partner Evan Rachel Wood. In February this year, Wood said in an Instagram post that Manson had horrifically abused her and called him a dangerous man. The name of my abuser is Brian Warner, also known to the world as Marilyn Manson, she wrote. He started grooming me when I was a teenager and horrifically abused me for years. I was brainwashed and manipulated into submission. After he was subsequently dropped from his record label, Manson responded to Wood's claims in an Instagram post of his own calling the allegations horrible distortions of reality. Four other women later came forward to accuse Manson of physical, mental, and sexual abuse. Two of them said their experiences had led to diagnoses of PTSD. And despite the allegations, this isn't the first time that Kanye has drawn criticism for his seemingly close relationship with Manson. Kanye was at the center of controversy just three months ago after Manson joined him on stage during his third Donda listening party in August. Gathered in front of what looked to be a church, Kanye and Manson were also joined on stage by a baby, who received backlash in July after making a series of anti gay remarks at a music festival. At the time of the listening party, Many theorized that Kanye's decision to bring out the two musicians was his attempt at commentary on cancel culture. However, it still remains to be seen what inspired the controversial collaboration. And in the wake of their recent Sunday service appearance, fans are continuing to criticize Kanye's decision to team up with Manson for a second time in spite of their seemingly conflicting religious beliefs and the number of allegations against him. Kanye is wrong for hanging out with Marilyn Manson, one fan wrote. Marilyn Manson at Kanye West's aka yes Sunday service doesn't sit right with me agreed another dot some even questioned why fans continue to support Kanye's music given his connections with an alleged abuser dot meanwhile, others pointed out that the public outrage might just be what Kanye had been intending with the collab, speculating that he had teamed up with Manson for shock factor publicity. But many were just frustrated by the performance, asking, will Kanye ever learn from the backlash? Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.